Perhaps we're at a time of experimentation, a time of questioning social norms and values. The commuter lifestyle was really an offspring of all of that, a rejection of society and all it stood for. Many communes have certainly failed over the last 20 years, but some have survived, like the Zendik Farm here in southeast San Diego County. Education is the answer here, uh, and it's the answer all over the world. Mm -hmm. and, and the people here and the people in the world have to be taught and told that competitiveness has to go. Mm -hmm. Cooperation has to happen. The 40 or so members of the Zendik Farm Arts Cooperative are on a mission. The mission, as they see it, is to save the world from eco-collapse. That's a Zendik term describing the downfall of contemporary society from pollution, big business, and social apathy. It's all going to deaths and wars and disease. You can take that same energy and just do it in the other direction, towards health, towards life, towards love, towards um, support. Errol and Wolf Zendik started the commune back in 1969 as sort of a retreat for artists. Now the arts have become a medium for their philosophical message. What does the name Zendik mean? It's Sanskrit for heretic or outlaw. And Wolf took the name for a protagonist in one of his novels and then later adopted the name and we take the name. We're outlaws to the inorganic uh, stupidity that would have us butchering our children's future. Everybody here is a loner. I mean, that's obvious. Everybody's kind of done their own gig and pretty much gone it alone. And um, really wanted something different. I don't feel there's anything else to do or any other way to live. I mean, just feel closer to this is my, this is my family, really. Uh, had it, kind of had a rough day yesterday, but she's uh, back online this morning, and Abby's considering having a bad day today, but it's always under consideration with the big <laughs> op. The victim! The victim! Let's have a hand for Abby! Uh. Now, you may think of a commune as a, a place to kick back, do your own thing, and uh, just commune, but that's not the case here. It's a tight-knit social organization with rules, rigorous work schedules, and where everything, even sexual relationships, are monitored. Sexually, we want to know who's getting together with whom so we can uh, see that it's working. The more knowledge you have about, uh, about ourselves, the better decisions we can make in helping people evolve and cooperating and getting along. The heart and soul of the commune is the music, art, and the political satire in the magazine they publish. Through these, they hope to save the human race from itself. If you're going to take over San Diego, we're going to take the billboards and turn them over to artists. You see, turn them into artist canvases. It'll be a lot better than uh, some guy jumping into a Hertz car, you see what I mean? <laughs> Almost everything on the farm is recycled, from building wood to auto parts to even the people, salvaged from a world that's never been perfect. And while their ideas may be far-fetched and their methods unconventional, their message may be one of the most far-reaching of the 60s era. The planet is our children's inheritance. And I, I would love it if they, if, if, if they came into a benign, uh, benevolent uh, culture, you see, all over the planet. There's no reason why it can't be. Absolutely no reason at all. It's just a matter of education. It's fun reliving the 60s, part of it anyway, but you know it gets a little strange when you realize